hard to cut. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not usually a cheese connoisseur. Hey everyone, it's Paris Hilton, and today I am playing Expensive Taste Test with Cosmo. So I just heard from Cosmo that I'm one of the most requested people that you guys are putting in the comments to play this game, and I think you're right. This is the perfect game for me to play. Paris, are you ready to play? Do I just say yes? <laughs> I'm ready to play. My favorite. Why is this one all curly looking? This, this, um, hmm. this feels rubbery. This one smells just more from a store that's nice. I don't know, I'm not usually a cheese connoisseur. I don't know why, but I feel like this is the more expensive one, just because this one just looks like craft cheese. I'm right? Yes. Next we have these oven mittens. Okay, this feels itchy, brutal. This feels soft. This, I love the rainbows and how it's like all just nicely done. And this is just boring. I hate the color and I would never use this oven mitt. It's brutal. I think this one is the more expensive one. Yes! I knew I was right. Uh, let's see, let me whisk this. They feel the same. <laughs> this is a little more sturdy. This is very lightweight. This one stirs. Pretty good, has more of the, whatever these are called, the long whiskers. <laughs> Ew. I hate those little white things that are in eggs. So one of these is $6, one of them is 41. They feel basically the same, so one of them must be a brand name and the other one must be just like a random one from the market. Um, I feel like this one is the one that's more expensive. Right again. Yes. I may not have known what a whisk was, but I learned it on my cooking show, and now I know what's a nicer whisk. Yes. So next we have lasagnas. They're not my infamous living lasagna. I can tell just by looking at them, but this one is a lot thicker. There's a lot more layers to it. And it looks like veggie lasagna, this one. I think I'll have to try it to see. Let's see what we have here. This is like so hard to cut. <laughs> it smells tomatoey. So coral. <laughs> so that one tastes brutal. Let's see this one. Let's see the layers. Okay. I need to give this person my sliving lasagna recipe. They have to go watch a new show, Cooking with Ferris, on Netflix, and they'll learn. This lasagna is brutal. It's, I don't know, it's like here. I feel like this one has more layers. It has the spinach, it has meat, it has a lot of things. And then this one is like the skinniest, lamest lasagna ever. It's only one, two, three, like two layers. I think this is the more expensive one. Okay, I was right, it's $30 lasagna, and this one is how much? $6.50. $6.50, I can tell. So next we have two aprons. This feels very rough, not comfortable. This one feels even 
more uncomfortable, itchy polka dots. Let's see, looking at the sewing, lining, whatever that part is. Okay. This one has like a lot of details. It's not the cutest apron at all, but it has like these leather pieces and like the pockets and straps. This one looks like a clown if they were a chef. This one looks like a dude who's like trying to be cool. <laughs> I usually like polka dots, but I don't know what it is about this one. It just reminds me of like that game where there's like all the circles and you like put your hand on it. I don't know what it's called. Twister. This reminds me of Twister. Clown chef. So one of these aprons is $95 and the other one is $18. That's a rip off for either of these, but I'm assuming. But if I had to choose which one is more expensive, I think this one is. What? This is $90. I would never wear this. Next up, we have some sliv gloves, one of my favorite accessories. I love the red. These are great for the holidays. And hmm, let's see, these ones smell so cheap. Ugh. Okay. The quality, it's like not even real leather. It feels brutal. It's, these are terrible. These are very nice. Like I can tell this is a nice leather, soft. I like the details, little holes. Just feels much nicer than this. This feels like, I don't even know what, like plastic that smells. These are definitely the more expensive ones and I know I'm right. <laughs> yes. I know my slip gloves. So next we have two white tank tops. Let's check them out, okay. This one's like nice, stretchy. Oh, they both are stretchy. My first impression is that they're very similar. I thought I could tell by the fabric of like pulling it if it was nicer or not, but it's hard to tell because they both do the same thing. That's a nicer stitch. They look almost exactly the same. This one feels nicer, but for some reason, I feel like this is the more expensive one. I told you guys I'd be good at this. So next we have hair extensions. I am looking at the quality of these. Okay. I can tell right away. <laughs> I'm just gonna look inside. You can see like the stitching on these, placement, how there's like. So here I can just see the stitching and then they have like this part that's like a very dark color. And usually on a nice extension they wouldn't do that. And the quality of the hair feels like a doll hair or like My Little Pony's hair. So it's not real. This is definitely synthetic. This is fake. This, yeah, I can see with this, it's like a lot nicer how they blended the colors in. The hair is much softer. This is definitely the more expensive one. I know I'm right. <laughs> how do they even have enough hair to make extensions? Like, I don't understand how they keep getting more so I feel like a lot of these companies are maybe making it up and it's like actual either plastic synthetic hair or horse hair or whoever they got this from's hair was just so damaged that it feels like a doll hair. Two bras, let's see them. This one, or this one. Let's see, this one is softer. This one's very itchy. And just looking at the lining and how they sewed it. 
can't tell, they both look pretty cheap. <laughs> this one feels soft, like the inside especially. I love this part. I love the color. And then this one, I think is sexier. I like just the design of it. But it's very itchy, which I don't like. Mm. I think this is the more expensive one. Yes. <laughs> I know my lingerie. I think I killed it today. I thought I was gonna get them all right. I only missed a couple, but it was my first time playing the game. The lasagna was horrible. It was literally the worst lasagna I've ever eaten in my life. The cheese was just gross to touch, <laughs> slimy. Thanks guys, bye.